YouTube, this is NJDollFan26, and as you may or may not know, Apple did release iOS 4.2 for the iPad, iPhone 4, and the iPod Touchline to developers today. Now, it has taken me a while to actually download this because my internet is absolutely terrible today. So it took about six hours to download what I believe is like 520 megabytes for the 4.2 firmware. But regardless, I'm here finally with iOS 4.2 installed on my iPad to give you guys my first thoughts and give you guys a first look. First thing you'll notice is that we have folders. You can fit up to 20 different applications in one folder as opposed to which I believe is 12 on the iPhone. But as you guys can see, it does greatly shrink the amount of icons you have in, on your iPad. I used to have four pages, now I have, actually maybe more than four pages, four or five pages of apps. Now I have two pages. Second page I won't show you because that has some projects in it that I am working on for you guys. So we won't show you that quite yet. But if we open up folders over here, you can see I have all 20 in here. I have a plethora of games updating Warheads right now. Let's see what else we got in here. Got my music apps over here. Updating a lot of things right now. And pretty much everything is nice and organized. We've got the iPhone apps over here. And by the way, sign up for you guys. Printing has come to the iPad, which I will show you guys in Safari. And that will be coming to draw it as soon as iOS 4.2 is announced for the community. But I am working on that, and that is almost implemented in, which is very nice and took me very quickly to do. So I'm kind of impressed with myself when it comes to that. Also, updates will be coming to Blue Call HD, mostly graphics, and Stick Bolt. We'll see. I, I'm not sure what I'm really going to do about that right now, but be aware Tap Wars HD will be coming. We are working on graphics and stuff for that right now with some new multiplayer experiences. And before I continue in this video, just a quick question. Do you guys want me to put Game Center in the applications or keep Open Faint? Because either or is fine with me. I love both platforms. Or would you not mind having both? So let me know in the comments below. So let's continue. First we'll go to settings. Everything is the same in settings. You guys can see I'm connected to my Apple network, which is a network slash time capsule, 500 gigs. And the only difference that we have over here is in notes you can finally change the font from check from chalkerboard excuse me chalkerboard I almost said checkerboard now I'm saying chalkerboard chalkboard to Helvetica and marker felt now personally I don't really like marker felt chalkboard and Helvetica are fine but if you see over here if I choose Helvetica open up notes and we'll cover this up over here oh these are workout numbers this it doesn't matter but you can see if I zoom in over here The font has successfully changed. So we'll zoom right back out. And we'll close out of that. So nice little change. I'm just going to put it back to chalkboard for now because that really doesn't bother me at all. Nothing new in the store. Photos, videos, nothing new. But wait, did I forget the really big thing besides folders? Of course not. Double tap, and you guys, we do have multitasking on the iPad. Finally, it works the same exact way as it does with the iPhone. You guys can see I have Game Center open right now, and it looks freaking awesome. That's all I can say. It looks freaking awesome on the iPad. So much better. Everything's better when it's bigger on the iPad. That's what she said without the iPad part. So, got my friends up here, which I actually have no friends, so if you want to friend me, friend me on Game Center. NJDelfan26 is my username. Maybe we can play some games. Right now, I have Enigma on Flight Control that I've played that actually have Game Center. And I'm pretty sure that I have a bunch of other games that do have it. Let's see, under requests, no friend requests. Of course not. So we'll close out of Game Center, but Game Center is finally on the iPad. Now, I can try to start up a game with you guys, except none of these applications have Game Center in them yet for the iPad because it hasn't been announced to you guys yet. So if you actually have Enigma on the iPhone, you can actually use Game Center. That is implemented very nicely. So I'll close out of that and go back to the multitasking. We have settings and notes over here to close out of the applications. Just hold it down, press the minus button just like you would on the iPhone. 
will leave Game Center open. Now, also, if we swipe to the right, just like on the iPhone, you have the controls for the iPod. And now, orientation lock is over here within the multitasking area. You tap on that, and my landscape orientation is locked. If I go to portrait, my portrait orientation is now locked. Now you might be asking what happened to the side button. The side button over here just controls the volume, which I really think is quite pointless. I like having the hardware button to just switch it off rather than double tapping and swiping because sometimes I just want to lock the orientation like that. Like if I'm in my car, I'm playing some music, and obviously can't do music while I drive. So I want to lock the orientation leave it down there so when I get to a red light or something like that, I can look down quickly without the iPad changing orientations on me. But really, there if you hold down the volume down button for like a second or two, that brought all the volume down. So I really don't understand the point of that. But, I mean, it is cool, I guess, to have a button over here, but not exactly what I would say convenient. Also, instead of going into settings to control your brightness, you can do that simply from right over here, just like that, sliding it up and down. Of course, you still have the option to in settings, but you don't have to, which I think is a nice little shortcut over here. For the iPod, I can play, open up my music, and just choose a song and I'd be ready to go. I did just update this, so I don't know if I have my library updated with my... Oh, it looks like I do. And I should cover up that email over there, and I can just close out of that stuff. Oh, whoops, I don't even know why I closed out of it. I forgot to show you guys a new feature. AirPlay has been introduced into iOS 4.2. It was showing up before, but with my luck, of course, it's not showing up right now, which I really don't know why. Maybe if I go into portrait mode. Nope, doesn't make a difference. So I have no idea, but AirPlay is supposed to pop up right in this area. So then you can actually connect your iPad if you've seen the Apple Keynote. Steve Jobs introduced AirPlay, which pretty much lets you to connect your iPad to different devices around your house, either iTunes or different media players. So you can pretty much use your iPad as a remote, which is kind of cool. Now let's go into Safari. In Safari, you now have the ability to print, and not only print in Safari, but you can print in any application that developers, like myself, will, have, will be importing into their applications. So let's go to iPhone.com really quickly. You guys will see how slow my internet is right now. I can't even type right. Let's try this again. iPhoneic.com. It's loading up extremely slowly. And the wireless access point is in the other room, so this is kind of pathetic. Okay, so we've got the iPhone Excite over here. Now you guys can see we have a new button over here at the top left. We'll just zoom in over here. New button right over here. If we tap on that, we can add the bookmark, add to home screen, mail link to this page, or print. So if I tap on print, it will look for printers around me. But in order for that to do so, I need to install the new Mac OS Snow Leopard 10.6.5, which is still downloading for me right now. So I haven't installed that yet, but I do have an HP PhotoSmart printer, you guys know, that connects via either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. So I will definitely be connecting that to there. And I can also choose from in, within the printer how many copies of the page I want to print out. So very nice over there. Everything else stays the same. So that's about it. iOS 4.2 for the iPad. If any new features do happen to come out, I will make a follow-up video for you guys. But in the meantime, this is NJDelfan26. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.